Hey, CLB, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Here's the news. Welcome to the CLB News Team. And here's what's happening this week. Hey, sports fans. This is your sports reporter, Brad Cook, for the CLB News Team. And this week is all about winter activities. And my favorite winter activity is having snowball fights with my cousins. And we used to do that a lot as, as, as kids. So I hope that um, if you ever want to have a snowball fight, you go right ahead. Two sports now. The Toronto Maple Leafs lost to the New York Islanders on Monday, but they are right back at it again this this Wednesday for Scotiabank Wednesday Night Hockey against the Dallas Stars. The uh, in NBA news, the Toronto Raptors keep on losing. Hopefully, they'll get another win and. Finally, it was Neo Week in the NFL. Hopefully, it does go well. And the game is this Sunday in Las Vegas between the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. This has been your winter activity slash sports update. I am Brad Cook from the CLB News team signing off. Now, what is your favorite winter activity? This is Adam Crosset from the CB News Team. I got some Valentine's jokes. Knock knock. Who's that? B. B who? B. Be my Valentine's. Oh. <laughs> knock knock. Who's that? Abby. Abby who? Abby Valentine's Day. Oh, happy Valentine's. I go out of my girlfriend to the mo- mo- movies for Valentine's and I go with uh, some at, at the walking mall. I see her at the walking mall every, every every special event and I take her out to di- dinner and I take her out at, and I have her over for pizza and movie night on date night. That's what I do with my girlfriend. This is Aaron Pratt from CB News Team. Hi, this is Jeff from the CLB News Team. And today I'm going to be telling you um, more birthdays that are coming up pretty soon. Eric Yell, February the 12th. Shan B, February the 16th. Bradley H. February the 17th and Crystal C February the 17th as well. So happy birthday to all those people. Okay. Now on to the my report. Um, today I'm going to be telling you about Special Olympics and about a book that I'm really looking forward to reading that got released today. Okay, so this, the thing I love doing with a special friend of mine that I really like, Danielle Smith, is my Special Olympics basketball and five pin bowling I do in the winter and fall and spring. And in the summer, I do, I do bocce ball and softball, which I also enjoy. I have been doing five pin bowling for about the past 15 years or so now in tournaments. I have won many bowling medals that I keep in my room at the house. But the big accomplishment I made with Danielle was going to the provincials, the five pin bowling provincials in Oshawa in June of 2019 with her 
where we bowled for two days and I got a silver medal in my division. I have also gotten a couple of awards. The Brett Fisher Award has my name on it and the Heart of Bull trophy I got last fall in in honor of our friend Laura Francis. I was the first recipient of that award as well. They are all great accomplishments that I have done. My favorite sport to play with Danielle is basketball, which I have done for the past two seasons with amazing coaches that really help us with our basketball skills. She is such a great athlete. She is going to the Nationals in Calgary at the end of the month with my housemate Darren, of course, for five pin bowling. I hope she does really well. In May, I found out recently that she is going to Provincials for 10 pin bowling in Waterloo, Ontario. My goal is to try out for the 10 pin bowling in the fall of 2024. I have com competed in my first ever basketball tournament two weeks ago. We did okay. I also did a free throw competition in Burlington today. I only got two shots in the net, but I had fun with my friends that were there. Gracie Gold is an American figure skater who has come out with her biography book today, February the 6th, 2024. I am looking forward to reading it. It is, it is titled Out of shape worthless loser it is a tell-all book that tells talks about her career in figure skating then what happened afterwards battling an eating disorder depression and anxiety she is an athlete i have followed for over 10 years in figure skating I'm really excited to read this book. I hope that there are some photos in the book of Gracie as well. For CLB News, this is Jeff H. signing off. Hey there, this is your Weather with Dave, and this is what's happening this week. On Monday, February 5th, we're going to have some sun and clouds. And at night, more clouds. On Tuesday, February 6th, we're gonna have some sun and clouds. And at night, more clouds. On Wednesday, February 7th, we're gonna have, you guessed it, more sun and clouds. And at night, more clouds. On Thursday, February 8th, we're gonna have some sun and clouds. And at night, it's going to rain. On Friday, February 9th, we're gonna have some rain and it's gonna continue all the way through the night. Here's your weekend. On Saturday, February 10th, we're gonna have some sun and clouds and at night, more clouds. On Sunday, February 11th, we're gonna have some sun and clouds and at night, you guessed it, more clouds. This has been your weather with Dave. Remember, stay safe. Hi, my name is Tyler. I will be talking about Valentine's Day and my mom. When I was little, uh, I was on my first birthday, I ate my cake and icing went up my nose and I knocked down my bottle with milk in it. It would pour down on my lap. And then my mom was a funny person. She
she was always uh, saying that when she was little, she would always bring cats to her to ho at home for school and my grandma came back home from work and she saw a cat and said to my mom no more cats and also when i was also little mom had a my birthday gift and then i would grab it and i my mom was trying to get it away from me and my mom would say i was i was trying to get it but i was pulling it too fast and i got for my birthday um a duck a bobby orr shirt and a, a horse rocking horse and we had uh, a lot of stuff on my birthday and when my brother was born i would uh give him a kiss and when stop my mom would always say a lot of jokes like um my like my mom would tell my grandpa saying did you hear that dad and telling my my dad was watching a football game and he was my mom would say um you don't have to record the football game you barely seen it once on the television and i would get book for my birthday called too much birthdays and the berenstein bears and and then my mom would be taking me on would take me to marineland with my dad and my brother and my grandma and grandpa got splashed by the whales this is tyler sheeran signing off hello clb uh i'm chris efford today i'm gonna be reporting on a bike that I just got. It's a Diamondback bike. It's the, called the Diamondback Espresso, and it's spelled E X P R E S S O, not E S P R E S S O, because that would be considered coffee. So no, that's that's not what it is. Anyway, so the Diamondback Espresso bike is a hybrid bike. It's a mix between a a road bike and a city bike. My bike is an eight-speed bike, and if, if I were Unfortunately, it's in a shed right now, but if you were to imagine what it looks like, it's it's a mixture of green. It has some green in it. It's got some white in it, and it has black handlebars. Now, bikes are very complicated. Bikes itself are, they had their, I believe there are, I believe that there are eight different models you can get. I only know four off the top of my head. There is a city bike, which looks like, which looks like, this and it's basically it's got a flat handle bar that when you ride and i'm going to show you what it looks like when you ride so a city bike has a drop down bar which when you ride it you're you're hunched over and as you're riding it instead of the brakes being here the brakes are kind of here you're basically you're in a squeezing motion okay now moving on to a mountain bike a mountain bike is <clears throat> a mountain bike has a flat handlebar, which is designed for 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 the mountains and the trails and whatnot, and it's got front wheel suspension and a real wheel suspension. Now the brakes are are or like this, where you squeeze them like this, where the where the handlebars on the city bike are like this, where you squeeze them like this. Now there's also a touring bike. A touring bike is basically a bike that you see in the Tour de France races and whatnot. They're designed for long distance because 
what they do is is when you pedal, they build enough speed to so that you can coast along the you can coast along a uh, a trail or what not not uh, not a trail trail like not a mountain trail but on a trail on a road. Now, touring bikes have a different handlebar than than a different handlebar than um, than city bikes because. Touring bikes are strictly meant for travel and distance, where city bikes on the other end are strictly meant for the city and whatnot. Now, there's a hybrid bike, which is like mine. My a hybrid bike is a mix between a mountain bike and a city bike. Now, this is where it gets tricky. If you were to look at a hybrid bike right now, and you were to say to yourself, "Hmm, Chris, is this a, is this a city bike or a mountain bike, or is it a mix of both?" Well, you're, you're right on the three parts. The reason why it's called a hybrid bike is because it's got the frame of a mountain bike, but it's got the handlebar of a city bike, but it's not dropped. It's st still got the handlebar of a, uh, of a, of a mountain bike, but it's the, the, the handlebars are so that you have these little things on the top where you can put your hands as you're steering, right? Most mountain bikes don't have that. S hybrid bikes do. Those handlebars that you see on the top, they're really rare for you to for you to get. So if you're looking at a, if you're looking at a hybrid bike that has those handlebars, you're at you're basically having an added bonus because it allows you to put your hands on the handlebars instead of holding them like this. You're holding them like this, like as a city bike does. It. They're, they're basically raised so that you're able to coast yourself down as you're riding, and and you'll be able to um, you'll be able to ride it as you were to be on a on a on a city bike now there's another kind of bike known as a high or bleh, sorry known as a uh, known as an electric bike electric bikes ha have both a have both a a pedal and a, and a and a motor now there are three different no sorry there are four different kinds of electric bikes there's an electric bike that you can sit on and you basically are sitting on like a regular bike or you as you're pedaling the motor kicks in, and if you build them enough speed, eventually the mil the motor will break in, and it'll give you uh, it'll give you uh, it'll give you enough um, for your legs to rest. Now, there's a pure mo a pure a pure uh, I can't even speak a pure electric bike where it has a throttle on it. That throttle is meant to, it's just strictly there's no pedaling involved. Now there's also a coastal bike as well. A coastal bike is the same as an electric bike, but as you're pedaling, if you build enough speed, eventually the motor will kick in and it'll give you enough speed to, so that you can take your feet off the pedals and there are kickstands on the back where you can put your feet. That's the, what a coastal bike is. Now there's one more type of, there's another type of electric bike and this is a friend that, that uh, my, uh, a friend of mine has this bike. And this is strictly a, an electric bike that looks like a motorcycle, like it looks like one of those CC motorcycles that you see in the racing on the racing district. That bike can fit two people on that bike, where the regular mountain or where the regular electric bike can't fit two people. This one, this one has a kickstand on the back where you kick the stand out and allows the, the said rider to sit behind you as you're as you're on the bike. And you know what? Bikes are a really great way for you to be in shape. Uh, they they are way, it's better than walking because walking puts stress on your on your on your so-called knees. And as and as you're and as and as you're biking, you're doing a fluidic motion. Or walking, you're doing a motion like this where it puts stress on your knees. And you can burn more calories bike riding than you will with walking or or running. It's you put you because you put struts on, on your joints so that's basically it that's basically my rendition of what bikes are the next thing I want to talk about is helmets helmets are crucial for bike riding because they protect your they protect your skull helmets are crucial because um, not only but they protect your head from a from a from you getting your head split open when you're riding but if you ever do get into an accident where you do get your head split open, um, the helmet will protect the the tech this and the helmet that I have is called a uh, is called a gyro helmet and that is spelled G I uh, no G 
I-R-O. I believe that's how it's spelled. And basically what it is, it's, it's, a, it's a helmet that fits any size head. It's a, multi, it's a multi-purpose helmet. And the minute you put on, you have this thing on the back that you can click. You can click into it so that it closes in on your scalp. And as soon as you put in the clip to, under your chin, that way, that way you can, uh, that way when you do fall and you do hit your head, it will, it will basically keep your head from splitting open. So make sure you get a helmet and make sure you get that set helmet that I'm talking to you about. Make sure you get one of those multi-purpose helmets. By the way, do not ever get a, a skateboarding helmet because skateboarding helmets are not designed for biking. Do not make that same mistake I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's basically it. So until until two weeks, until two weeks time, I will be talking about a game that I recently got. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it came out when I was in high school. So I'll talk to you guys in two weeks. This is Chris Abbott signing off. Peace. Thank you for watching the CLB News team. Have a great Valentine's Day. See you next week's episode.